Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Well, it is the end of January as I film this. And one of the things that I like to do over the wintertime is work through some of the piles that I have. There's a lot of rocks that we've collected over the past summer. And I've had some of it just kind of sitting around looking at me and I need to do something with it. So uh, in today's video, we're gonna be doing just that. We're gonna be processing down some of the material that we collected and specifically some of the fossils. So uh, we went to the U-Dig trilobite dig in Utah and dug a bunch of trilobite fossils. Now trilobites are, how to describe them? Little sea creatures that used to live. They used to live on the bottom of the ocean. Um, and they looked a lot like this. Now this is a prepared fossil that, uh, well, we collected. Now these are kind of exceptionally cool in that the shale that they're on is way softer than the minerals that replaced their bodies. So um, it makes the preparation extremely easy. Now, I'm not an expert in fossil preparation. I'm just like, I'm like scratching the surface barely, you know, but I have a lot of this stuff and I already have some good ones that we'll look at and a bunch that need work. So we're gonna work on those today. Hopefully uh, I'll either make them look a lot nicer and they can go in the house or uh, nicer and they can go to somebody else or they'll be destroyed and I'll learn, uh, I'll learn something. So um, with that said, let's head over to the bench. So here are all the fossils laid out on the bench. Now these, that one right there, that and that, these three uh, are ones that I did not do the preparation on. Uh, these were done by the, I don't know, the dig host there. Um, and these are nice because the preparation is using a wire wheel. I know, I thought it was a little uh, aggressive, but they actually hold up quite, quite well. And you can see there's a little one right, <laughs> little one right below that big one. So very cool to see. Um, I like these. These are keepers, obviously. Um, now, you can also get the ones like this where they are the negative. So as an example, I have a loose one here. Uh, and you can kind of see the three-dimensionalness of it. Well, that's just the, the casting left behind by one. So there's not a whole lot you can do with these because they're just shale, you know? So we'll put these aside. Now we have a number of pieces of shale here with trilobites that need work. This one's kind of cool. Uh, it's unfortunate that his bottom half is kind of broken. Um, more in this shale here. Uh, then we got some individuals that we collected down there that just kind of popped out. Now these will be a lot harder just because of their size, um, but got to do something with them. It doesn't really benefit me at all to have them just sitting sitting here. So uh, this one has a number of things. I forget what those are called, uh, but that's its own little creature. Not, not like the rest of the trilobites. This is going to be the one that I'm going to be starting on. Uh, it's one of the loose ones, and I think it should be good. You can see that we have some of that shale on it that we can maybe uh, get off with the wire wheel. And that's how we do it. Um, I'm going to be using a Dremel with a uh, little wire wheel here. And uh, yeah, give it a go. Um, I do have the shop vac hooked up. You do make a little bit of dust, but uh, since I'm not going to be doing the whole, like a whole plate, like I'm not going to be doing this whole thing. I'm only going to be focusing on the actual uh, trilobites. It should, should be fine. Uh, you could always do it outside or, or with a mask. So yeah, and that. There you can kind of see 
with that light gray shale removed, what these guys start to look like. I think it's pretty cool to see it like this. And uh, the wire wheel doesn't take off too much, so. Not bad. Obviously that light gray still needs to go, but we can rub some of that off. And I kind of just need to get in there with the wire wheel a little bit. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now there's still some shale left in this one, but I think this is as far as I want to take it. I think that looks significantly better. You can see so much more detail than you could when, when I started this process. So that's, that's a win. I'm kind of just now learning, I guess, uh, what some of the, I don't know, how much of the, how much pressure I should be using. Cause that's not something that you can really be taught, you know, told. <laughs> Just got to kind of feel it out, I guess. So I'm thinking since this one kind of came out pretty good, I'm going to just uh, run the wire brush over the rest of it to try to uh, lighten it up because it does get a lot lighter when you do that. So this this one here, uh, it's a little hard to tell if there's anything actually left there in that. Uh, so that might just be a good, a good test. And then um, this one, we have those almost looks like little rusty spots. So I don't know, this one might just flake away, uh, but you know, you gotta you gotta practice some, somehow. And we do plan on going to Utah this coming summer and hitting up some different locations with trilobites. So this is a good to kind of have an idea as to what is, I don't know, stable, solid, uh, and that. So let's give this a go here. So that side, there's nothing there, actually. That was just like an impression, uh, but you can see the black there. So let's try this one. That definitely flaked off there, uh, right there in the middle of it. You can see the kind of a little shine that you can put on them, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure what to do with this. I don't think I want to do any more. <laughs> yeah, you just saw. Uh, I don't think I want to do much more with it since it's so flaky. I think maybe we'll try this one. This one could be pretty good. That's the back side. I guess that's the top side.
I like that. So much more detail in it. So uh, this is kind of my little junk pile. These still need work here. <laughs> and uh, these are the better ones that I've came up with. Obviously, these really nice ones. Those two that I, I practiced on and I did, and I think that looks significantly better than what I started with. You could barely see them. This one I'm a little iffy on. And uh, we've got these loose guys that I'll try to work on. I'm not sure what I want to do with this plate just yet because we have one, two, there's like several in here. Um, yeah, a couple on the back side there. So I think I might just keep that plate just kind of like that as a what they look like raw and have these and try to work through all of this stuff. Well, I've gone through all of these. I've done as much prep on them as I'm comfortable doing. I do have some that are kind of just, you know, pieces in there that I didn't spend any time on and some negatives and stuff. And uh, I'll see if Sarah wants to go through those later. Uh, these are all the things that I did some work on and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so you can see that there's still some of that shale in there in the little nooks and crannies. Um, this is as much as I'm willing to take off right now with a little wire wheel. I do think they look significantly better. Like the, the before and after contrast is, is uh, quite good. And I managed to learn some things here about how much pressure, what to kind of look for in them. And uh, overall, it was pretty good. I mean, obviously, that it was a great experience going to the UDIG trilobite beds and uh, and that. One that uh, <laughs> I was working on, and then I came to the realization that it's uh, upside down. So this is the bottom of it. Like, he would have legs coming off here, and you'd be looking at his belly. So uh, I would assume that if I flipped this over somehow, uh, well, you'd have the you'd have the other side. I don't know if I want to do that, um, but we also, it's kind of thick here, so you never know if we uh, someday get the, the hankering to split it off. And uh, I still have this much bigger, bigger plate here as well. So that was a good, that was a good fun winter project out here in the shop. And I'm glad to be able to, I don't know, work some of this. And, and you know, it's always uh, people oftentimes on YouTube, right? And I'm guilty of this myself, is you see the end result of something. Like you see a completed lapidary shop. You see... Uh, backpacking into locations to go rock hounding and kind of the end game, you know? So it's fun. Uh, I'm not an end gamer with uh, the fossils. It's amateur hour at best. So, uh, you know, uh, be kind. Um, but I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to learn. I got, um, I have this book uh, from the Utah Geological Survey about Cambrian fossils in Utah. And this is a pretty good book. Um, you can find it out there on the interwebs. They sell it places and stuff. And, you know, if anybody has any good good resources um, for these types of things, let, let me know. Um, you know, I like this book, right? So here's the, the thing. Um, when it comes to fossils, I need like lots of photos. <laughs> I'm in lots of photo mode. Uh, so like seeing, seeing this is extremely helpful for me to, especially like the some of the illustrations so that I have a good idea of what these things are and what they most likely looked like. Uh, that's kind of a big deal for me, at least. I don't have the, I don't have the imagination. And then um, also a good thing with this book is all of the references. So like these are all pages of reference here. Um, and if you're not using uh, reference lists in your, uh, learning <laughs> about, you know, uh, fossils or rocks or whatever, um, you're missing out. But, uh, yeah, and that, and that. So, uh, maybe next year we'll head back down to the UDEG trial by big. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for being a uh, part of the channel here, watching to the end of my video. If, uh, you haven't seen it already, I have a website. It's currently rockhounding.com. Totally free, ad free, all the good stuff. Uh, there's locations and photos and videos and articles and all kinds of stuff, you name it, go check it out and I will catch you guys on the next video.